Hi guys, welcome back to In Case of Econ Struggles and welcome to another micro struggle. Today we're going to be talking about the expenditure minimization problem and Hicksian demand. The way we're going to do that is first we're going to talk about the expenditure minimization problem conceptually, then we'll talk about it graphically. We are going to be using a Lagrangian when we think about the expenditure minimization problem. And the solution to that expenditure minimization problem is going to be Hicksian demand. So once we have found our Hicksian demand, we will compare the expenditure minimization problem to the utility maximization problem. And then we will also relate Hicksian demand to Marshallian demand. And finally, we will talk about when Hicksian and Marshallian demand are equal and what the conditions for that are. So timestamps are below if you would like to jump around, but let's go ahead and get started. So first I wanna talk about the expenditure minimization problem conceptually. So what we are trying to do, we are trying to minimize the money we spend at the grocery store. We don't just want to walk out of the grocery store having spent $0 because that is not necessarily very useful. We want to definitely spend some money. So our constraint in the expenditure minimization problem, we want to walk out from the grocery store with a bundle that is at least as good as some certain level of utility. That certain level of utility must be given to us. That's not going to come from within the problem. So we're still doing constrained optimization because we have that constraint of a bundle at least as good as a certain utility level, and we can still use the Lagrangian. So let's talk about this expenditure minimization problem graphically. Now I'm going to put x1, x2 on the axis. Let's put our constraint down first. So here is our constraint. It's an indifference curve. This is the indifference curve for utility is equal to u bar, where u bar is the utility level that's been given to us exogenously. Now, what we are trying to do is we are trying to find the least amount of money we need to spend at the grocery store in order to hit this level of utility. So I can draw a couple of budget constraints and try to make them as parallel as possible. Notice that this budget constraint, I definitely hit this utility, but I could spend less. And this budget constraint here, I don't even hit the level of utility, so that's not going to be my solution. What my solution is going to be, it is going to be the budget constraint that just barely touches this utility. It's going to be this guy right here. This is going to be my X1 star and my X2 star. So graphically, this problem or this graph looks very similar to the utility maximization problem. But instead of doing the utility subject to a budget, we're basically doing a budget subject to utility. So you can kind of think of it as flip-flopped. Now let's talk about this in terms of writing down the Lagrangian for the expenditure minimization problem. So what we're going to do, what are we doing? We are minimizing. What do we get to choose? We choose X1 and X2. What are we minimizing? We are minimizing P1 X1 plus P2 X2. What are we constrained by? Well, let's put the Lagrangian multiplier in front. We're constrained by, we want u of x1 and x2 to be greater than or equal to u bar. That is our constraint. And that is the Lagrangian for the expenditure minimization problem. When we solve this, so we can take first order conditions, we can plug in, we can go through all those steps similarly to how we did for the Lagrangian utility maximization problem. And then we're gonna to get to Hicksian demand or the solution to the expenditure minimization problem. And so we're gonna use an H for Hicksian demand. So let's call it H1 star. Now, when we did the utility maximization problem, Marshallian demand, we wrote the Marshallian demand as a function of the parameters of the problem. The parameters in that problem were P1, P2, and the budget. Now they are the prices as well as the utility level given to us, that U bar. So H1 star is a function of the price of good one, the price of good two, and that U bar. And the Hicksian demand of good two is also a function of the price of good one, the price of good two, and that exogenous U bar. So this is our Hicksian demand. And now we can compare the expenditure minimization problem to the utility maximization problem. So let's just take a look here. We've got the objective for each. So the objective of the expenditure minimization problem we said was to minimize how much money we spend. So we're minimizing P1X1 plus P2X2. 
Whereas in the utility maximization problem, we're maximizing utility. Our constraint in the expenditure minimization problem is that U bar has to be greater than the utility we get from whatever bundle we choose in the expenditure minimization problem. Whereas in the utility maximization problem, our constraint was we couldn't spend more than what we had. So really what's happened is this guy has kind of flip-flopped and this guy's kind of flip-flopped. And that's how we can kind of think of the expenditure minimization problem and the utility maximization problem as two sides of the same coin. And we'll talk about the conditions in which those two sides of the coin are equivalent. Now, the solution to the expenditure minimization problem we said was the Hicksian demand, whereas in the utility maximization problem, it's the Marshallian demand. And I've just wrote out the Hicksian and Marshallian demand here in case it's useful. I think it is very useful to create this on your own. That way you can help make sure that you keep the expenditure minimization problem and the utility maximization problem straight in your head. Otherwise, it can be a little confusing. So let's now think about when the Marshallian demand is equal to the Hicksian demand. So let's start with the utility maximization problem because I think that is more familiar just in general. So here is my utility. This is the utility that I'm gonna get from the utility maximization problem. And I'm going to go in pink and I'm gonna draw this budget right here. So this is going to be our budget. So let's call this W, right? That's how much money we have to spend. All right, so now let's think about how this translates into the expenditure minimization problem. So let's say that I take that green line, that green utility line, and I put it into this expenditure minimization graph. And I say that this is U bar, which is equal to you. And let's just make this a star here. Let's make this a star. That way we can tell U bar from U star. So that's U bar is equal to U star. And then if we take this pink line again, let's say this pink line in the expenditure minimization problem is the amount of money we need, the minimum amount of money we need to hit that U star level of utility. So this is the answer to our expenditure minimization problem. So this is P1 X1 star plus P2 X2 star. So if I make W in the utility maximization problem equal to P1 X1 star plus P2 X2 star, I will get the same answer between the Marshallian and the Hicksian demand. And if I make the U bar equal to the level of utility we got in the utility maximization problem, take that U star and put it into the expenditure minimization problem, I will also get the same bundle in the Marshallian and the Hicksian demand. Maybe that was a little confusing. Maybe it's a little easier to see with the math. So what I'm going to write is I'm going to write HI because it's going to be the same for both good one and good two. So I'm going to say HI just so I don't have to write it down twice. So H1 star of P1 and P2, now we need that U bar equal to U star. How do I make U bar equal to U star in a formula? I just say this is U of X1 star of P1, P2, and W. And then it's X2 star of P1, P2, W. That's when Hicksian is equal to Marshallian. If I want to write Marshallian demand using Hicksian demand, I can say X I star of P1, P2. And then what is going to be the budget? Well, it's going to be P1 times the Hicksian demand of good one, whereas P1, P2, U bar plus P2 times the Hicksian demand of good two. Hicksian demand is a function of P1, P2, and U bar. Hopefully this makes the expenditure minimization problem make a little more sense. If it did, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you still have questions, make sure to comment below. We will see you next time for a, another case of Econ Struggle.